a cavitation is the result of a dental extraction where the bone is not healed properly. Basically that's what a cavitation is. They generally don't cause any problems initially in terms of pain or discomfort, although many patients can describe horrendous extractions or very painful extractions on a site that will become a cavitation in, in, as the healing goes on. But what it is basically is part of the dental ligament, which is a fiber that holds the tooth in place to the bone, connects it to the bone. It um, is that, that stitch that locks the tooth to bone um, is not removed when an extraction is done. And when it's not removed, it, it, it is tissue that is not bone in where bone would normally form. And so what happens is that not the first three years or five years, but down the road, 10, 15, 20 years later, these areas become areas of a hole in the bone. A cavitation means a cavity in a bony area. And these bony holes have anaerobic infection, which means infection that grows where blood supply is restricted, where blood supply is poor. And um, as these areas of infection grow within the bone, they don't cause pressure, they don't cause pain. Most of them are asymptomatic, but what is growing is very, very toxic systemically to the body. So that the immune system says this is toxic and it doesn't belong to me. And so the body's fighting it and trying to get rid of it in a, in a general way but very specific from the cavitation. The result is autoimmune breakdown in the body, symptoms that occur that seem unrelated to the jaw that improve when these areas are properly treated. Dead tissue, like dead anything, attracts organisms or flies or whatever to decompose it. And, and where you have something dead attracts infection. Infection becomes toxic. Now, these infections aren't the way we think of infections where you cut your skin, it gets red, it hurts, it's infected. These are infections that are low-grade smoldering infection, like you smell smoke there's a fire, but it's not really flames going on. It's just something from way off in the distance. There's a smoke coming, and it's smoldering. So these areas are, are smoldering toxicity that the immune system, that the body is constantly trying to battle with, trying to put out this fire. But because blood supply is poor and bone does not exist there in a healthy form, um, the body can't heal these sites without intervention, without help. A panoramic x-ray does not always show them, although frequently looking at a panoramic x-ray, which means a, we're talking about a, a low radiation uh, film of the entire jaw. Um, very simple to take, provided by most uh, dental offices or x-ray labs. You can see the area of darkness where the wisdom tooth or the extracted tooth had been. You can see an area of darkness that is either the size of a pea sometimes or the size of a walnut or bigger in these jaws. And as I say, not all of those show up, but frequently you can see it on, on x-ray. Uh, those that exist that don't show up on an x-ray, there's a machine called a Cavitat machine. And this machine is ultrasound, has no radiation to it. Very sim simple, comfortable scanning of the jaw with sound waves and it will show if the bone has proper density or if there is a defect in the bone. And, and there are no defects in the bone that are non-toxic. All of them have some bacterial problem to them. A cavitation is treated with, generally with local anesthetic, and then a small opening made 
over the site where the hole would be in the bone and generally there, that area of the bone is because it's soft underneath the shell of bone is opened and then cleaning out that area becomes a matter of taking a small dental spoon and cleaning that area of infection um, and that helps so that healthy bone can refill that area. Most patients need some, some form of support. Um, their nutritional support is evaluated by a holistic dentist to evaluate the health, um, general overall nutritional status and medical status. Um, when cavitation surgery is done, we recommend that vitamin C be used because it's of its antiviral, antibacterial benefits to the body. And intravenous vitamin C is the most effective form, um, both during the process and the following day is recommended to use vitamin C in these in surgeries. I think many good dental surgeons uh, don't understand the cavitation problem but to have one who has that higher level of consciousness, that higher level of awareness, um, makes them an excellent person to deal with these kind of problems. There are a lot of good oral surgeons that don't even know cavitation exists and don't recognize them. The oral surgery, um, American Dental Association, and most insurances don't recognize they exist because um, it's like not recognizing in the 60s that cancer was caused by smoking. We don't want to recognize some things, you know, until our consciousness raises and they always say, well, yeah, I can afford to recognize that now. Mm -hmm.